Al Jazeera's Margot Ortigas joins us live now from Takloban. And Margot, Takloban is the worst hit city. We've been looking, in fact, at a live picture throughout the last few hours. The scale of the devastation appears to be huge. Tell us what you've been seeing and more also about the security problems. Indeed, here a majority of the main roads uh, is what the government is saying has been cleared already and they say relief is beginning to get through to the people. Now that is what is being said. However, though we did notice that some of the roads have indeed been cleared, many of the other areas of this city are not and they remain impassable. We were in front of the provincial capital yesterday and right in front of it the roads are still basically blocked by fallen trees, fallen container trucks and we even saw a police speedboat in the middle of the road. But more than the fact that relief isn't getting to some of the uh, survivors in Tacloban City itself, they say they have other more pressing concerns now. No, that's another problem, really. They haven't been able to get word out, so those relatives still would not have heard almost a week on, actually a week on now, that their relatives are alive if indeed they had survived the storm. What's happened is that the government, with the help of local service providers, have set up temporary cell sites, for example, in the provincial capital, in certain gymnasiums, or indeed uh, in certain points where they know the public will go to for help. These areas have mobile phone signals that have been set up but very limited and the locals can go over to these sites and use the phones for free to call whomever they need to call to let them know they at least survived. Internet companies such as uh, uh, internet based rather communications companies have also started offering their services for free and these are international companies for example like Skype and Viber. At the same time they're saying that they're going to give phone services for the next week for free to all those who survived as soon as they can get more of a cell signal up their hoping to be able to do that in the next few days but right now still very limited service uh, people are still having to rely on satellite phones and of course in the Philippines it's very very difficult to even get a satellite phone so they've set up special kiosks as it were where people can go for free but many of the survivors that we've seen in these places have had to walk for hours just to get there